Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about what you can do to prep your hair for the winter months. Harsh winter is coming. January, February, March, April, if you live in Canada. Let's talk about the things that I would recommend for my clients to do once we go into the winter season. Seasons, I just said seasons. Let's start with number one. Get a gloss and tone. Toners are very, very good for your hair. They're demi-permanent hair color and they make your hair super shiny and soft. They don't have the same drying effect as lightening your hair. So even if you do wanna go darker and you're blonde, you can definitely use only a demi-permanent because it fades beautifully. So you might end up changing your mind later on and you wanna go back to being blonde, you can do that when you're using a demi-permanent hair color and you wanna let your colorist pick that for you. You don't wanna do any box dye or anything like that at home because it's so difficult to go from box dye to a nice blonde. So if you are someone who likes to be blonde and you've been blonde before and you're thinking about like like maybe in the long term you might want to go back to being blonde at some point if there's a blonde vision in your future go with a demi even if you want to keep your hair dark i love a good demi hair color the only time i wouldn't use a demi is probably if i have grays or if my clients have gray covered then we use permanent on the roots and we can use demi on the ends so that's definitely something that you can do and it just really maintains the integrity of the hair really good option when we're going into the winter season okay number two you are going to want to switch your hair care regimen to a more hydrating line. So you're gonna to want to do something like more of a hydrating shampoo and conditioner and a hydrating weekly mask. You can do strengthening as well if you have fine hair and I've talked about this in my previous video that I just recorded, so it's probably up right now. You know, kind of switch it up between a protein-based treatment, so very strengthening treatment and a very nice moisturizing treatment. I will link my favorite masks below. So hydration is very important. We tend to be very dry in the winter. You also want to make sure you use some type of a leave-in in the hair. A lot of people just kind of skip over using a leave-in and I did this for a long time until I went to hair school and I realized how important it was to take care of the hair after you come out of the shower. So a really good leave-in for example is the Olaplex number no. six. It's a smoothing kind of cream that not only strengthens your hair it also leaves a really nice moisturizing kind of protective film on your hair so that it protects it from the elements. So in the winter, it's very dry. Your hair can get so dry that it can start to break. So you want to make sure that your ends are taken care of. And this is another one that I always like to talk about. This is the Redcan Extreme PlaySafe 450. I use this in the salon a lot. I use it on my, all my clients. It really protects the hair. So this is something that you can put into your hair and either air dry or blow dry. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about air drying versus blow drying. I like to blow dry my hair in the winter because it's too cold to let it air dry. Even with short hair, I love the nice warm air. It can take forever to air dry. So I like using a blow dryer. It's okay to use a little bit of heat so you can keep your hair dryer a little bit further away from your hair and you can use a low heat setting and you can also use a leave-in. So the leave-in will definitely, especially if it has heat protection like this one, it protects up to 450 degrees. You can definitely blow dry your hair without worrying about it being too damaged. You also want to use some type of a serum or an oil on the ends and I've mentioned this in my previous videos. A nice treatment like the Moroccan oil treatment a nice oil like the r and code two-way smoothing mirror oil or two-way mirror smoothing oil. Kevin Murphy has the Young Again Serum, which is incredible. There are so many serums on the market that you can use. If you wanna get something from the drugstore, you can go with Frizzies, the John Frieda Frizzies. It's probably one of the best. Anything that's going to just kind of take care of the ends of your hair is really, really good. Static is a thing in the winter. So one of the best products that I've ever used for static is the Kevin Murphy Bedroom Hairspray. This is amazing, not just for texture and pieciness. If you have long hair, short hair, I love, love this so much and it smells great. It's probably one of my best selling products. It's called the Flexible Texturizing Hairspray. I'll link it below. You can use hairspray as well. I just don't like the feeling of hairspray unless it's Osis, which is what I like to use in the salon. This one is, it says it's Stronghold Hairspray, but it's actually not that strong, honestly. Like it feels very, very flexible. This is medium control. So it actually feels really flexible. I can still run my finger through it you can put it in and still brush it out I just find the bedroom
bedroom hair texture hairspray just kind of is an all-in-one so it gives a little bit of texture and also gives a really nice hold as well let's talk about exfoliating your scalp so in the winter months the most common problem that we get is dry scalps a lot of us will go out and get like head and shoulders please don't do that it doesn't really treat dry scalp it can treat dandruff which is actually a fungus so head and shoulders can treat that but it cannot treat dry scalp the only thing that's going to be able to treat dry scalp is exfoliation so think of when you have dry skin you want to exfoliate your skin first and then apply a nice moisturizing serum because that's how it's going to absorb same thing goes for your scalp if your scalp has dry flakes you want to exfoliate the scalp you might want to let the shampoo sit for a couple of minutes and then you want to rinse it and then you want to follow with a hydrating shampoo and conditioner and a mask and that is how the mask and all of those like really good emollient rich oils and butters that are in your mask and in your conditioner are going to be able to absorb they're going to be able to be absorbed by your scalp because your scalp is skin it's an extension of your skin the kevin murphy maxi wash is my favorite it's very strong and it's incredible it literally gets rid of you know eczema issues if you have psoriasis it's probably the best shampoo for you because it has tea tree oil it has witch hazel has alpha hydroxy acids it's all natural it smells amazing i also started using the Co oblivion shampoo which is amazing also an exfoliating shampoo it is less harsh than the maxi wash it feels a little bit more moisturizing if you want to go drugstore get the neutrogena clarifying wash that one is amazing so just to recap make sure you take care of your scalp and the rest of your hair by using a really good regimen and i do want to say that all of this advice is pretty generic if you want specific information and a specific advice for yourself you can book a coaching call with me i will link everything down below and if you're looking to understand hair more and learn the science of hair make sure you sign up for my course also linked below leave some comments leave a thumbs up i'll see you in the next video and let me know if this helped you bye